Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. Draw us forth to the table of life, brothers and sisters, each of us called to walk in your light. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning. You get me all week. Father Nam's away this week. <laughs> there, Monsignor Ted will do the voice on Friday, but I'll be here all, all the other days. Good to be with you. Great to pray with you. To begin our day with our Mass. As we do so, let us place ourselves in God's loving presence. Call to mind our sins as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who will that our infirmities be born by your only begotten Son, to show the value of human suffering. Listen in kindness to our prayers for our brothers and sisters who are sick. Grant that all who are oppressed by pain, distress, or other afflictions may know that they are chosen among those proclaimed blessed and are united to Christ in his suffering for the salvation of the world. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Maccabees. From the descendants of Alexander's officers, they sprang a sinful offshoot, Antiochus Epiphanes, son of king of Antiochus, once a hostage of Rome. He became king in the year 137 of the kingdom of the Greeks. In those days, there appeared in Israel men who were breakers of the law, and they seduced many people, saying, let us go and make an alliance with the Gentiles all around us. Since we separated from them, many evils have come upon us. The proposal was agreeable. Some from among the people promptly went to the king, and he authorized them to introduce the way of living of the Gentiles. Thereupon they built a gymnasium in Jerusalem according to the Gentile custom. They covered over the mark of their circumcision and abandoned the Holy Covenant. They allied themselves with the Gentiles and sold themselves to wrongdoing. Then the king wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people, each abandoning his particular customs. 
all the Gentiles conformed to the command of the king, and many children of Israel were in favor of his religion. They sacrificed to idols and profaned the Sabbath. On the 15th day of the month Kislev, in the year 145, the king erected the horrible abomination upon the altar of burnt offerings, and in the surrounding cities of Judah, they built pagan altars. They also burned incense at the doors of the houses and in the streets, and scrolls of the law which they found, they tore up and burnt. Whoever was found with the scroll of the covenant and whoever observed the law was condemned to death by a royal decree. But many in Israel were determined and resolved in their hearts not to eat anything unclean. They preferred to die rather than to be defiled with unclean food or to profane the holy covenant, and they did die. Terrible affliction was upon Israel. The word of the Lord. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Indignation seizes me because of the wicked who forsake your law. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Though the snares of the wicked are twined about me, your law I have not forgotten. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Redeem me from the oppression of men, that I may keep your precepts. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. I am attacked by malicious persecutors who are far from your law. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Far from sinners is salvation, because they seek not your statutes. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. I beheld the apostates with loathing, because they kept not to your promise. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. And hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus! Son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, Have sight, your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they saw this, all the people gave praise to God. The Gospel of the Lord.
We have some opposing readings today. Opposing readings in terms of faith. We see in Maccabees today that they're, they are abandoning their faith. Giving up all that they believe to follow pagan gods. Even to tear up the scrolls and to erect altars and abandoning all that they had followed and believed. In our gospel, today we see a blind man want something from Jesus. I want to see. And Jesus says, your faith has saved you. Your faith has saved you. Many of you come daily to Mass. Come daily to be strengthened in your faith. To be nourished by the Eucharist. To receive the fullness of the Lord in Scripture and in sacrament to give us that food for our daily journey. You choose not to abandon your faith. For those at home on, who are homebound and turn in to watch us here at St. Norbert, we are that food for your journey as well. As we come to receive that nourishment from the Lord. So today as we gather, we don't gather with, with lack of faith. We gather with depth of faith. So wherever we are on our journey, we're here now. To be strengthened by the Lord for whatever each of us is going through today, or what the plan of later today is, but we're here now to deepen our faith, to be strengthened by the Lord, to give that food for that journey today. So as we gather, let us just continually be reminded of the depth of God's love for us. And trusting in our loving Father, we now turn to him with our prayers. For the Pilgrim Church on earth, may God bless and strengthen each one of us, his servants. Let us pray to the Lord. For national and world leaders, may the Holy Spirit bring unity and peace to areas of conflict. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are sick or suffering from illness or disability, may God grant them endurance and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all of us gathered here this morning and for those we love, may God help us open our hearts ever more fully to his call of discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and for all who have died, for Mary and Tobin, especially this day as we offer this Mass, may God's mercy usher them all into eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and for those special needs and intentions in which we offer to the Lord in the silence of our heart. And for these, let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, thank you for listening to our prayers as you do each day. Hear and answer them according to your holy will. And grant these and all things through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit to the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Since the moments of our life unfold, O God, according to your good pleasure, receive the prayers and sacrificial offerings by which we implore your mercy for our brothers and sisters who are ill that having been anxious for them in their danger, we are rejoice at their recovery of health through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy and Tan, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us now offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Saborium. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. To be near God is my happiness, to place my hope in God the Lord.
not seen, ear has not heard, what God has ready for those who love Him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. When pain and sorrow weigh us down, be near to us, O Lord. Forgive the weakness of our faith and bear us up in your peaceful word. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard what God has ready for those who love Him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. Mm. Our lives are but a single breath. We flower and we fade. Yet our days are in your hands, so we return in love with love has made. I have not seen, he has not heard what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of O oh God, only support of human weakness, show the power of your protection over your servants who are sick, that sustained by your merciful help, they may be restored to your holy church in good health, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Let us now go forth in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. And St. Michael the Archangel, the Archangel defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May God, God rebuke, rebuke him, we humbly, humbly pray. pray. And, and do, do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, host, by the power of God, God cast into hell Satan, Satan and, and all other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.